change. Life's constant. This season, our tournament reflects such. Back in 53, seven schools initiated change, and a new conference was born. 53 seasons later, we've come to the championship game, an event that has and will capture memories that will span lifetimes. It's still the most prestigious, you know, tournament. It is something special. It was intense, you know, I mean, it was, you know, the coaches were nervous, the players were nervous. This is what it's all about. This is why you come to the ACC. Um, this is the granddaddy of them all. And now, after a season of transition, a constant, like 52 before, a title game. One team, a familiar name that knows the rich tradition of the tournament. The other, a newcomer that lives up to the excellence that we've come to expect. 40 minutes of proud, intense competition. 40 minutes of new memories. 40 minutes, two halves, two teams. It's time to name the Atlantic Coast Conference one true champion. And a guard, a 6'4 senior from Roanoke, Virginia, number four, J.J. Reddick. The head coach for Duke in his 26th season with the Blue Devils is Mike Krzyzewski had 17 points in 19 minutes. So I talk about the production. He is really giving this team a lift off the bench. J.J. Reddick, his first three of the game and the first for either side. Puts Duke up by seven. He'll hit threes. There's a steal by Reddick. Duke with all sorts of numbers. Reddick will pull it up and hit it. Hey, you know what, Steve? That's, that's like a layup. I mean, you wonder about pulling up on, in transition for a three-point shot. That's a layup for J.J. Reddick. There's Reddick on the way. Back by Hennett. Reddick. Goaltending. Well, normally we don't hold our breath when JJ goes to the line, but the first two today he missed. You see his line for the afternoon. Bobby Crimmins with a trivia question for us. Go ahead, Bobby. Oh, I got to test you guys. Steve and Mike, uh, give me the last team who started 0-3 and, and won the ACC championship. I know Billy Packer would know. 0-3 oh and, and, and in the league. That's in the league. Talk, right? And won the ACC championship. Oh, boy, I got you guys. Would it be Wake? No, 1997, Dean Smith's last year. Oh, my God. Right. Look at the first half highlights. You'll see that defense that I'm talking about. They got this game going. Look at Paulus come up with a steal there. Great steal, great anticipation. And this next steal, this comes off a scouting report, Mike. Again, anticipation by J.J. Two easy baskets for Duke. And on the other end, you talked about Boston College, their fight. They had a chance to go down double digits, and they did, but then they came back very much alive towards the end of the half. Well, we talked about the versatility and being able to face the basket and put the ball on the floor. All right, let's take a look now at our Sonic halftime stats. And again, Boston College has shot the ball so well all tournament long. They really have, Mike, but no three-point shot. So look for Sean Marshall, Dudley, and Therese Rice off the bench. I think they need to hit a couple of threes. All right. Oh, Lord, this is just Wallace has been very active, and he's just trying to give, give his team a lift right now. It's a great play to throw it off, but it was the reaction that caused Scrum afterwards. Well, you were right, Mike. If if, if, if McRoberts doesn't grab hold of, of Paulus and kind of push him toward him, yep. then that contact never happens. Right. And then Hinn walks away, and uh, this is why it's, it's Duke's ball. And uh, you know, so if you're him, it you can't. You know, I mean, you can't blame the young man for. You know, he's he's down in enemy territory down there. <laughs> There's going to be a reaction. It's going to be natural. One after steals. And his aggressiveness fuels this team. And now Craig Smith is talking like Krzyzewski. We're going to get foul shots at the other end, and Reddick will do it. Reddick now with 11. Whoa. His third miss of the game. Had a pretty good spark for them in the first half. With seven minutes, five points. McRoberts misses the second, but hustles for his rebound and lays it in and draws another foul. 
He said, I didn't get you last time. I'll get you this time. McRoberts gets it this time. Or rather, that is uh, Oates. Boy, he has had some athletic finishes in this game. We talked about it, the breakdown off of that, and uh, going up with his right hand, strong finish. And he hits the three-point play. Smith can't get a handle on the rebound. Ball is two on two, Reddick on the wing. Steve, he turned to run when that ball was halfway to the basket. He knew it was in. Two men back for Boston College, but nobody identified where Reddick was. Two proud parents look on as J.J. Reddick puts the Blue Devils on his back and puts them up by four. On 11-3, Duke run. Here's the look. I mean, he sees him on the wing and just B.C. too close. You've got to give up something, and you must get out to Reddick. I think even at the expense of giving up a layup, Steve, and that you have to make a decision to stop that three. Reddick to the top. 12 on the shot clock. Reddick. He's feeling it. Fourth three-pointed pointer by Reddick in this game. Or just a little reminiscent of the game against NC State in the finals a few years ago when Reddick caught fire in the second half. Here's Smith in traffic. Sheldon Williams brings it down. Duke flexing Knicks muscles as we approach the halfway mark of the second half. This is BC. This is the thing they were so concerned about the run that Duke would throw at them. Dockery at the top. Reddick finds the corner. Williams with the screen. Three straight. And Al Skinner's got to call a timeout. Marcus Haynes fell down while Reddick was going through the picks. A sea of blue bounces up and down. Timeout on the court. Duke's lead is back to 10 after Boston College had taken control of this game by Temple. Here you see he's wide open, and the reason why is because Haynes falls down, and that's that's just too good of a look. J.J. Reddick. Man, three straight three-pointers. Came in there with 438. He has five on the day. He has the all-time NCAA Division I lead. He's got 17. Boy, can they manufacture points in the paint, Steve? Great screen roll that time. 71-68. J.J. Redick hasn't scored in about eight minutes. Here comes Nelson. It goes to Redick for three. And what happened, Steve, they got the switch underneath, and Craig Smith found himself on Reddick, and there was no way he could stay with him. Hides it up at 71 with his sixth three-pointer of the afternoon. Here's the look. He's running. He's got Craig Smith on him. Smith looking inside. It all takes that little brush screen. Does it late to get a hand out on him? He's just perpetual motion, and eventually wears you down. 23 points for J.J. Reddick. Here goes his sixth three-pointer, much to the approval of mom and dad, and Doug Collins standing beside them. Steve, but it's the seniors late who are making the plays. Yeah, Paulus and McRoberts and, and Rice and all these guys may have helped them here, but it's these guys that will get it done. I mean, that's unguardable. Completely unguardable. Duke by one. 74, 73, a minute six to go. But look at this. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. You can't shoot from that far out. JJ had to find the opening. He did just then. And then Paulus at the other end off this rebound. Calling timeout before he left the field to play. They're going to leave. They're going to put everybody back, and McRoberts is going to shadow the guy taking the ball inbounds. Prevent that easy pass. They have to deny, I think, hit at the basketball somehow. Make somebody else make the play. He's been too good. Make Rice make the play. Hit it with 19. It was 20 points in the second half. Paulus, no. No timeouts now. Here comes Hinnick. Hinnick for the win. Oh, wow. Craig Smith 
falls to the floor, helped up by Sean Dockery. But the Duke Blue Devils are flying in the rarefied air of 16 ACC Tournament Championships. In a final that satisfied all of our needs for a great tournament championship. Here's the luck, and that was, they did not try to make that miss, and that was a, that was a good, good look at it by Hinnon at the end. JJ, you know, we stood here as a freshman. I asked you, do you ever imagine you'd be in this position? Now you're a senior and you've won three of these titles. Yeah. What's it like? Oh, it's special, and each one has gotten sweeter.